TV1 Pentathlon, the hunt for the all-round champion. We are back in the studios with two talented and reputed schools from across Sri Lanka. Well, that's right. Just like last week, this week too is going to be a very exciting and a challenging game because it's going to be two boys' schools taking on each other. Without much further ado, let's quickly start off with getting the two teams introduced. Yes, indeed. And the first of our two teams today is from Colombo. Let's give it up to the boys from Zahira College. Zahira, 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 Zahira. Competing against Zaira College today is going to be all the way from the Central Hills. Put your hands together for Dharma Raja College, Candy. Well, teams on stage to begin the match, but first, let's ask how the preparation is from the two captains. Captain of the team, Zaira College, how is your preparation like? We actually work very hard and we are ready to go. Zaira College is ready to go. Yes, and what about Dharmaraja College, Candy? We have the captain, Hashain, here. How have you been gearing up for this match? We practiced a lot, so we hope to give a good match and do our best and hopefully win. Yay, that's great, that's the spirit. In fact, we're now ready to introduce our judges who are here from the Ministry of Education. Well, joining on the panel to judge this very competitive match which we'll be experiencing in a while is Mrs. Hashimi Talagala, Deputy Director of Education, National School <laughs> Branch. And joined with her is J.N. Prabhat Indika, Assistant Director of Education, Health, Physical Education and Sports Branch. So, I think it's time for us to start off the match so like any other game, like any other match, we have a toss in hand and we would like to invite one of the judges to come on stage to decide whether the decision is correct. And maybe also invite the captains of both the schools to come forward. Okay, captain, so here we go. This is the toss. TV1 on one side, Pencil on the other side. Can I know your decisions? We look for TV1. TV1 says Dharma Raja College, Pentathlon. what about Zaira College? Pentathlon. Okay, right, so let's go for the toss. In 3, 2, 1. TV1, it is Dharma Raja College. Uh, what is your decision? Are you going first in all rounds or are you going to give it to your opponents to go first? We'll invite our opponents to go first. Opponents first, okay, so that brings the start, kickstart the game today with the match. Let's shake hands and start the game. Darmaraj College won the toss and gave their opponent Zaira College to go forward with all the matches. And I think it's right about time for us to kickstart the competition with round one, which is Balance Your Quiz. In this round, each of our teams gets to send forward three co players. And each of these co players will then have to answer five questions within a span of 30 seconds, all of which while balancing a table tennis ball on a table tennis bat. Each of the first four questions answered correctly gives them five points each, while the last question answered correctly gives them ten points. If the team in total answers more than ten questions correctly, they also get a bonus of ten points in the end. However, if any player drops the ball even once during the entire time of 30 seconds, then they will be disqualified from that round. With those rules and regulations being read out, I think it's right about time for us to put our hands together and ask the captain from Zaira College, who are the three uh, players who will be coming on to the game? Uber, Faik and Maithil. And who will be starting off first? Uber. Okay, Uber, so we have 30 seconds on the clock and your time starts when I give you a countdown. It starts now from 3, 2, 1. What does GMT stand for in time? Greenwich Mediterranean Time. Correct. Sri Lankan Airlines was formerly known by which name? Sri Lanka. Wrong, it's Air Lanka. In which year was National Museum of Sri Lanka established? 1964. Wrong, it's 1877. Who is known as the father of hydropower or hydroelectricity in Sri Lanka? Us. The answer is DJ Vimla Surendra. 
Which international organization funds the cultural triangle in Sri Lanka? United Nations Heritage. Wrong, it's UNESCO. Your questions are. As we move on to the competition, up next, uh, we would like to ask the captain, uh, Hashen from Dharmaraja, who are the three components you will be selecting to come on stage? Uh, it would be, it will be Nipuna, Tevindu, and Uvindu. Okay, can we have the first player to take stage? Uh, that would be Uvindu. Right, you have 30 seconds on the clock, and your time starts in 3, 2, 1, go. Whose face featured in the first stamp issued in Sri Lanka? Uh, Queen Elizabeth. Wrong, Queen Victoria. Which is the national gem of Sri Lanka? Answer is Blue Sapphire. In which year did Sri Lanka join United Nations? 1951. Wrong, 1955. Name the first Sri Lankan to become the Inspector General of Police in Sri Lanka. The answer is Richard Aluvihara. What does ISBN stand for in books? In national book. Your time is up. The answer is International Standard Book Number. Okay, Zaira College, your turn. Come forward. The captain of the team. Let's see how well you bear it for Zaira. Three, two, one, go. Which country has scored most runs in an innings of a test match? Uh, it's Sri Lanka. Correct. What does BBC stand for in broadcasting? British Broadcasting Corporation. Correct. Chess originated in which country? India. Correct. Princeton University is located in which US state? Uh, New Jersey. Correct. How many main islands does New Zealand have? Two. Correct. Your questions are up. To give a good game, he's going to be who from your school? Nippon. Come forward. Are you relaxed? Yes. Okay. Let's start the game. Your clock is up on 30 seconds. And your time starts in 3, 2, 1, go. Which batsman scored most runs in an ODI innings? Kumar Sangakka. Wrong, Rohit Sharma. What does WHO stand for in global organizations? World Health Organization. Correct. Los Angeles Lakers play which sport? Baseball. Wrong, basketball. Stanford University is located in which US state? New York. Wrong, California. How many main islands does Japan have? One. Wrong, it's four. Your questions are up. Zyra College, we have five coming forward. Five, we have 30 seconds on the clock and your time starts in three, two, one, go. What does ILO stand for in global institutions? Us. The answer is International Labour Organization. Lufthansa is the largest airline in which country? Russia. Wrong, Germany. Which year was Colombo Plan established? 1936. Wrong, 1950. The first Sinhala movie was released in which decade? Pass. The answer is 1940s. What does TRC stand for amongst local government institutions? Pass. The answer is Telecommunication Regulatory Commission. Your questions are up. Questions up. Questions up. Rajins. Who is coming forward? Tevindu. Uh, Come forward. Time is set at 30 seconds on the clock and your time starts now. What does IOC stand for in global sports? Pass. International Olympic Committee. Garuda is the national airline of which country? Uh, Pakistan. Wrong, Indonesia. In which year did Sri Lanka become a republic? 1978. Two. 1972 is the correct answer. First Singhala Kala movie was released in which decade? 60s. Correct, 1960s. Name the national bird of Sri Lanka. Jungle food. Correct. The questions are up. Well, there you go. That brings us to an end of round one. And I'm sure both schools fought each other in a very competitive manner. But we need to know what the score is at the end of round one. We'll have all those details after this short breather. You are watching TV1 Pentathlon Season 2. two. Well, as promised before the commercial break, we said that we will have you the scores of the end of round one. 
So we have the scores. How does it look like? Yes, indeed. The scores as of now stand as follows. We have Dharmaraja College with 20 points. And we have Zahira College leading so far with 35 points. Well, there you go. At the end of round one, we see the Sirens leading with 35 points. But things could change as the game continues. What is round two, which is Express to Impress? Express to Impress is one of our creative rounds because in this round, we test the skills of each of our teams and their imagination, their acting, their diction, their presentation and their stage presence. How does this round work? Well, we give each of the teams a story lead which they then have to complete and present it before our judges who will be judging this round. So let's take a look at what our first school here, Zahra College, picks up for themselves. It was a dark and stormy night. Oshini was alone at home and about to go to bed when she saw a scary shadow figure at the window. She saw a lion's face followed by a scary thunderous roar at the window. It looked like the lion from the local circus that had been announced missing on the television news channel. She felt very scared and ran to the bed and started to shout. And then... And then what happens? Well, it's a very interesting topic and we are all going to enjoy it because I like to see who is going to be Oshini in this. Let's uh, put the time on the clock and let's see what this iron's got to offer. <sighs> I feel bored. Let me on the TV and see what's in the news. Breaking news. It has been reported that the lion of the Kalambu Circus has escaped. All locals are required to stay indoors and also take precautionary measures. Thank you. What? The lion has escaped from the circus? Oh my god. This is serious. <sighs> Never mind. I'm at home, so I think I'm safe. I'm also a bit sleepy. Let me go and sleep. <sighs> Oh, what was that? Was that a lion? Oh no! Oh. 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 Ah. No! No! What happened? Oh, what happened? What happened? What happened? Oh. Oh. With our sister. Oh my god. Oh, what happened? Oh, please, what bring some happened? water. Go bring on, bring some water. water. Bring some, some water. water. Please. Oh, I should never oh, have here. this. Here's oh. the water. Oh. Wake up, wake up. Oh, it's all my fault. Oh. Oh, really, I've got... Oh, it's all of our fault. I should oh. never have done this. You know, I thought of surprising her for her birthday. But it was unfortunately she fainted. But fortunately, she is now okay. And this is a lesson for all of us. We should always look before we leap. We should not pass the limits. We should always limit everything. Jokes are very good and very important in our life, but we should not pass the limits of jokes which can lead even to death sometimes. So we, should, we must all understand that we should always limit our jokes. We need jokes. Let's go over to Dharmaraja College Candy and find out what is their topic of choice. Sandun hails from a poor family and had to give up his studies after his A-levels to support his family. He worked as a tourist guide at Yala. One day, he befriended some foreign tourists who offered him a role in smuggling gold into the country in exchange of a huge sum of money. Sandun felt this was a godsend opportunity for him to come out of poverty and then and then what happens? Let's see how the boys from the Central Hills put it up. 
Okay, see you guys later. Bye. Oh, he's super. Oh, Spanish dude, how are you? Uh, <laughs> uh, how good. are you? It's how good. are you? It's good. So we came back from our hotel to do you a favor, like. You helped us, you showed us all of Yala. It was so beautiful. That's a the, yeah, yes. those elephants and all. It was so good. You know, guys, I'm the greatest tourist oh. guy in the world. Got so, to appreciate me. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah of course. Uh, anyway, like, come to our hotel with us right now. We need to give you something. Just come, come on. Okay. Okay, let's go. It's really good. Okay. Take this, okay. What is this, sir? It's a briefcase. Uh, What's in it? Uh, none of your business. Okay. Take this jet, okay. Just take it. Now, go to that large jewelry store two blocks away. Give those things. Don't get. Uh, okay. I'm going to be frank with you, okay? I'm going to be honest with you. Okay. We are Spanish. You know that. Yes. We are gold smugglers. What? Gold smugglers? Be quiet. Uh, so, the smuggler we usually use. To smuggle gold from. Sir, oh. I'm running late. <laughs> no, no, can, no, I, uh, ca can I do it? Okay, I'll do it quickly. Okay, okay. okay. We'll give you money. O okay, you okay. Our guy quit, so we need a new guy. Okay. We bye. are gonna hire you. Okay, sir. Good luck. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. Uh, bye. 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 okay. Oh. That's kind of strange. Yeah. He hey, buddy. Oh, oh, who are you? Oh, yeah. We who are you? Out. I don't know you. Why? Don't you remember? We met I, on I don't know you. Get out of my way. Hey, what's in this bag? None of your business. Get out of my way. Hey, what's in this bag? <laughs> Sir, don't kill me. Take the bag. <laughs> don't kill me. Cut, cut. What are you doing, huh? <gasps> I have won. I, I have won many Oscars last year. I won. I won them. Well, that was indeed a very interesting uh, round, express to impress. But we would like to know what the results are like of these very talented two schools. The decision lies on the judges and I would like to ask the uh, decision from Mrs. Hashini Thalagala, Deputy Director of Education, National Schools Branch. Uh, both the teams uh, performed well. Uh, but in allocating marks, uh, we considered the following criteria the creativity, content and the stage pres presentation skills and vocabulary and fluency. So, uh, in considering those criteria, we allocated uh, marks like this. Uh, Zaira got 40 marks, whereas Dharmaraja uh, got 60 marks. Well, you heard the scores from the judge herself and now it's time to find out how the two schools have fared at the end of round two. The total as of now stands as follows. We have Dharmaraja College Candy with a total so far of 80 points. And we have Zahra College Colombo with a total so far of 75 points. Well, there you go, you heard the scores and we see a very close lead, a very close gap. Well, it's about to change in the coming rounds. It's time for us to move into round three, which is Word the Bus. In this round, each of our teams gets a word which will be 12 alphabets long. But several of these alphabets will, of course, be locked. For them to unlock each of the alphabets, they have to Try their luck at netting the basketball into the basket. Each successful netting gets them 10 points which will reveal a word and if they can guess the word correctly at the end of it, they will then get 70 points for guessing the word correctly, thus adding to a total of 100 points. Well, there you go. Those are the rules and regulations of this round and it's going to be a very interesting round because it's a brain game and a physical game combined together. So, Krishma, to start off with Zyra College, shall we hand them the number to see what they select? Yes, indeed. Let's take a look. They have selected word number three. In the meantime, I would like to ask the captain, who are the three players who will be going in for this game? Pike, Riddha's advisor. Okay. 
so let's take a look at the word. You have two blanks, a P, two blanks, an N, two blanks, U, one blank, A and then another blank at the end. Captain, who will be going first? Fahik. Fahik, I would also like to ask which letter would you like to be unlocked? The first box it is. Here you go. Who is coming up next? Rinas. It's Rinas. What's the letter which you would like unlocked? The word before P. Okay, let's see how well you're able to score that mark for your score. Almost there, almost there. Which means the letter is not going to be appeared on that flag. Captain, are you able to score that basket? Yeah? Yes. Okay, here you go. Which word would you like? Which letter, the letter before would you it. like? Before it. The letter before N. <laughs> that was a miss there. The captain was not able to score the point. Are you going in for another player or are you going to stop with three? Yes. Umer, are you coming forward? Let's see. But before that, I would like to ask, what's the letter you would like unlocked? Last letter. It's the last letter. And the last letter. <laughs> Umer was not able to score that point for the school. Captain, it's your call. Are you going with another player or are you going to decide what the word is? Let's make that quick decision to see what happens. The final player from Zyra College. What is the letter you would like unlocked? The letter before A. The letter before A. Okay. Here you go. The final player. Let's see. <laughs> Almost there. Five attempts down, which means more letters locked and you have a hard task deciding what the letter is. Ah from this word which is displayed on the screen. The countdown 10 starts now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Zyra College, your time's up. Have you found out what the word is. Okay. Impeninsula. Impeninsula. Sorry, what is this? Impeculiar. Impeculiar. Impeninsula. Let's take a look what the word is. Supernatural is the word. Time for you to hand over the ball and let's see what the Rajan select. This is word number four. Captain of the team, who are the three players that you nominate for this game? It will be Tevin, Uvindu and myself. Okay, so the captain has selected himself including two other players. It's time for us to take a look at the word. It is two blanks, L two blanks, I two blanks, M two blanks and an E. Captain, who are you sending forward first and what is the letter that person would like unlocked? It will be Uvindu for the letter before the second letter. The second letter. Perfect, that is a bastard there. Captain, who is coming forward next and what is the letter you would like unlocked? The first letter. The first letter and who is coming forward? It will be Tevin. We will have Tevin coming forward. <laughs> the Rajans seem to be doing it splendid when it comes to scoring that basket. Captain, 
it's your turn. What letter would you like unlocked? The letter before. Yes, it did pay off. Well done, well done. Three baskets in a row, which means you got another letter unlocked. Are you continuing with the rest of the players or are you going to guess what the word is? Captain? Uh, we'll be sending out our fourth player. The fourth player comes forward and which is the letter you would like unlocked? The letter before M. The letter before M it is. Come forward. Okay. <laughs> he missed it out there. Rajans, are you going with another player or are you going to guess the word? Uh, we'll be guessing the word. You will be guessing the word. Okay. Your countdown begins now from 10, 9, 8, 7. You have decided the word. Okay, let's see what it is. Can you soon say the word because we stopped the countdown and you need to say what the word is. Your time's up. The word is illegitimate. And it can you spell that for us? It's I L, then of course another L. Then it's E G I T I M A T E. Hashem. Do you think you made the right decision for your school? Mm, yes. Are you sure about those spellings? I find something wrong. Let's take a look what the word is. The word is right. Well, the Rajans have been able to discover what the word is, but Zyra College was not able to. Few failed attempts and you were not able to figure out what the word is. But this course is a close call. Let's find out what the results are after this short commercial break. Keep it locked. You are watching TV1 Pentathlon Season, Season 2. two. <laughs> Hello, welcome back. You are tuned on to TV1 Pencil Season 2. Well, we just concluded three very exciting, challenging, amazing rounds. And I'm sure all of us need to know what the results are at the end of three rounds. Kushma, how does it look like so far? Well, it looks like the gap has been widened because we have, at the end of three rounds, quite a dramatic sh change in the score, really. At the end of the third round, uh, the third round itself, Zahra College scored themselves, unfortunately, negative 20 points, which brings their total so far to 55 points. And we have Dharmaraja College in the third round scoring themselves 90 points, which brings their total right up to 170 points. Zyrians, you all have to play a very good game in order to ensure your spot to the next level. And Rajans, I think you all just need to do what you all are doing, which is good, right? Okay, so at the end of round two, it was just five marks of a gap. But at the end of round three, we have seen a drastic change. But we have two more amazing, interesting rounds, which we can target their knowledge. With that being said, it's time for us to move into round four, target your knowledge. Well, in our fourth round, which is target your knowledge, each of our teams gets to send forward three co-players. And each player will then have an opportunity to target a dart onto a spinning wheel. And as you can see, there are many colours on the spinning wheel. Each of the colours corresponds to a subject. And based on where the dart falls, they get asked a question from that subject. Each question answered correctly gives them 25 points. But in this round, they can also choose to double. In which case, if they answer correctly, they get 50 points. 
Well, those are the rules and regulations of this very colourful game, I would say. And to start off things, I would like to ask the captains each. From Zyra College, starting off first, who are you sending in for this game? Uber, Faik, and Bison. Okay, again, the captain selects himself and two other players. How does it look like from the Rajan side? Kevin, Ubindu, and myself. Again, the captain and two other players. So, let me just quickly give you a snapshot as to what these colours mean. Well, if your target knocks on to blue, it's sports and games. Then, if your target knocks on to yellow, it's art and entertainment. Red signifies science and technology. Then, we have orange, which is history. Green goes to geography. Purple, literature. White is a trump which is you can select your preferred category. So shall we start off with the Zyrians? Who is coming on first? Okay, so the time starts in 3, 2, 1. It is a green, which is geography. All right, you've got geography. Would you like to go in for a double? Yes, so you're confident with geography as your subject? Nothing. You only get to double once, right? So this is your only double then. All right, let's take a look at your AV. That building complex you saw is the most renowned work of Renaissance architecture. What is it called? Your options are A. St. Peter's Basilica B. Basilica of St. Paul C. St. Patrick's Cathedral or D, Arch Basilica of St. John? A. You're going with A. You're going with A? A, St. Peter's Basilica. You have gone in for a double, so are you absolutely sure about this? Because if it's a wrong answer, you get negative points. Alright, they're taking the chance. They said that their option is A, St. Peter's Basilica. That is... The correct answer, 50 points! Rajans, who is coming forward first? Uh, it will be you. 3, 2, 1. It's a close one, which is red. Red signifies science and technology. Well, you've picked science and technology. Would you like to go in for a double? All right, let's play it safe then, no problem. Let's take a look at your aim. Name that inventor, engineer, physicist and futurist who is best known for his contributions to the design of the modern alternating current or AC electricity supply system. Your options are A. Henrik Hertz B. Erwin Schrodinger, C. Michael Faraday, or D. Nikola Tesla? The answer is D. Nikola Tesla. Are you sure about your answer? Yes. Okay, big smile, so maybe you look like you're really sure. The answer is D. Nikola Tesla. But the sirens, who is going in next? Umer. Okay, Umer, come forward. The time starts in 3, 2, 1. It's yellow. Arts and entertainment. You've chosen arts and you've already doubled before so no more double available. Let's take a look at your area. This British actor was one of the six who played super spy James Bond in the Bond movie franchise. Name him. Your options are A. Roger Moore B. Timothy Dalton C. Pierce Brosnan or D. Daniel Craig D. 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 Daniel Craig D. Daniel Craig is the correct answer. Rajan is coming up next. The captain comes forward. Let's see how well he targets his knowledge. What do you think you will select? It's Let's see random. what you come forward with. 3, 2, 1. It is... Red. Science and technology. So you have to select another but one. But 
your school selected the same before, which means you have another chance. Orange, it is history. You've chosen history. Would you like to go in for a double? Okay, no problem. Let's take a look at your AV. Who you saw was the leader of North Korea from 1994 till his own death in 2011. Name this leader. Your options are A. Kim Jong-suk B. Kim Il-sung C. Kim Jong-il or D. Kim Yong-ju The answer is C. Kim Jong-il Are you sure about your answer? Okay, they're nodding. Your answer you said is C. Kim Jong-il And that is the correct answer! Dyra College, who's coming up next? Five. Three, two, one. It is blue, which means sports and games. You've chosen sports. Let's take a look at your AV. Name this Danish professional tennis player who is the current world number one on the WTA tour and also won her first Grand Slam singles title recently. Your options are A. Angelique Kerber B. Caroline Woznik C. Simona Halep or D. Victoria Azarenka Your answer is C. C. Simona Halep. That is the incorrect answer. Your correct answer is B. Carolyn Wozniak. Rajans, over to you. Uh, the final player. Yes, it will be Tevin. And your time starts 3, 2, 1. It is. Or range, which what? means you have another chance to target another color. Times the three, two, one. Green geography. You've chosen geography. Would you like to go in for a double? No, playing it safe still. Okay, let's take a look at your area. an Art Deco style skyscraper located in New York City and it's also the tallest brick building in the world with a steel framework. Identify it. Your options are A. Wilshire Grand Central B. Willis Tower C. Empire State Building or D. Chrysler Building C. Empire State Building C. Empire State Building That is the incorrect answer. Your correct answer should have been Chrysler Building. So that brings us to an end of yet another very challenging and competitive game where the guys from both schools have to target their knowledge and see whether they get the right answer. Well, I think it was fairly all right, but then comes a very competitive round, the fifth round which is a very interesting and very challenging round. But first, we need to take a look at the scores at the end of round four. Time for us to find out what the scores are at the end of the fourth round. Let's start off with Zahra College. In the fourth round, they scored themselves 75 points and that brings their total up to 130 points. And we have Dharmaraja College Candy in the fourth round scoring themselves 50 points and that brings their score up to a total so far of 220 points.
As we just found out what the results are at the end of four rounds, well, we have yet one very interesting and challenging round, which is the fifth and final round, which could change as to which school will take the lead. Well, this is Buzz Around. We're now in our fifth and final round, the deciding round that will choose which one of these teams become our champions for this match. The rules are very simple. We have 10 questions. Each correct answer gives them 10 points. Each wrong answer will give them negative five. So let's get started. Question number one. Name the Pakistan-born player who became the first Muslim cricketer to represent the national team of Australia. Time up. The correct answer is Usman Khwaja. Question number two. World-renowned literature work, Rubaiyat, was written by which Persian poet? Time up. The correct answer is Omar Khayyam. Question number three. Name the only chemical element other than mercury that is in liquid form at room temperature. Romy? That's the correct answer. <laughs> Question number four. Name the South African surgeon who became the first to successfully conduct a human-to-human -human heart transplant. Time up. The correct answer is Christian Bernard. Question number five. Name the only country to have won 60 over, 50 over and 20 over Cricket World Cups. Time up. The correct answer is India. Question number six. With a 1,147 documented complaints. Which painter's paintings have been stolen the most in the history of the world? Hashin? Pablo Picasso. That's the correct answer. <laughs> Question number seven. Which country holds the record for having the second most number of UNESCO World Heritage Sites? China. China is the correct answer. <laughs> Question number eight. Who was the 16th president of the United States and also the founder of the Republican Party? Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln is the correct answer. <laughs> Name the first cricket captain to have scored centuries in every format of... Tilagrat Dilsha. That's the correct answer. <laughs> Question number 10. The Federation of the Arab Emirates went on to form United Arab Emirates while two of them became independent sovereign nations. Name those two nations. Qatar and Bahrain. Qatar and Bahrain is the correct answer. <laughs> well, one-sided played game, is it? Zyrians were silent throughout the game. What went wrong there? Significant rise in the results according to what we just witnessed. Rajans played it very well in round 5. But we need to find out what the results are at the end of round 5 and the total scores where we will be awarding the pentathlete as well as the champions of this match. But we'll have the results of this right after the commercial break. You are watching TV1 TV Pentathlon Season 2. two. Welcome back. We are back with the results of a very competitive, challenging and very creative match played between Zyra College and Dharma Raja College. But we would like to find out before the final scores who the pentathlete of this championship is. And for that, I would like to direct my attention towards Mr. Prabhat Indika, Assistant Director of Education, Health, Physical Education and Sports Brands to give away the results 
as to who is the pentathlete of this match. Well, uh, before we announce the pentathlete of the day, I would like to give my warm regards to both teams uh, who performed well today here. Uh, pentathlete of the day is goes to the captain who played uh, calm, controlled and uh, tremendous role as well as the winning captain, the Heshan Nanakar from Dharmaraj College. Kandu. Well, there we have it. The pentathlete of this match is chosen as the captain of Dharmaraj College, Hashain, and we give our congratulations to him. It's now time for us to find out which team wins. The final scores are ready. Let's start off with Zahira College in the fifth round. Zahira College unfortunately scored themselves zero points and therefore their total remains at 130 points. <laughs> Meanwhile, we have Dharmaraja College in the final round scoring themselves 60 points and that brings their total to the winning score today, 280 points. Well, there you go, the Rajans celebrating their victory in this match with a massive league of points. But nevertheless, win or lose, everyone walks away with something interesting here at Pentathlon. And in order to hand over the certificates, I would like to invite our two judges who have been with us for this match, giving out the right and correct decision when it comes to scoring either of these two schools. First and foremost, I would like to invite uh, Mrs. Uh, Hashini Thalagala, Deputy Director of Education, National Schools Branch, together with uh, Mr. J. N. Prabhat Indika, Assistant Director of Education, Health, Physical Education and Sports Brands, to assist us with the distribution of certificate. Time now for us to award the pentathlete of this match, the winning captain. Let's give it up to Hashain Nanakara. <laughs> Well, we congratulate Hashin once again for bagging the title of pentathlete of this match. We would like to invite Zaira College for playing a very good game and giving that one for the Rajans. But nevertheless, it's your participation which is important. So we would like to invite the captain, followed by the co-players, to come forward and collect their certificate. With that very exciting match, we bring to end this edition of Pentathlon Season 2 with Zyra College and Dharmaraj College. We had a really great time. I'm sure even our audience watching us enjoyed this match played between these two boys' schools. Well, more excitement awaits you next week, same time, same place. You are watching TV, TV One, One Pentathlon, Pentathlon Season 2. two. Just